Hey, it's Mr. Bebe, and this lesson is about symbiotic relationships. So to get right into your first key concept here, organisms interact as individuals and as populations. Let's look at a couple of things that will help us understand this a little bit better. First, a uh, habitat. So the habitat is the place where the organism lives. So something near a river or in a forest, there's a bunch of pictures of habitats up there uh, for you. But this is very different from what people confuse us with, which is a niche or a niche. Okay, this is the role that the organism plays within its ecosystem. For example, uh, what uh, organism eats and uh, what eats it. So we need to understand the difference between the habitat where it lives and the niche, which is its role in that actual habitat. So first let's look at competition. So competition is an organism uh, fighting for a limited resource. And this can uh, be something like fighting for a mate, fighting for food, fighting for space fighting for water. Anything that is a limited resource will cause uh, organisms to compete with one another. So that's one way that they interact with each other. Uh, predation is another way that they interact with one another. That occurs when one organism captures and eats another organism. So this is very much like the couple of pictures that we see here. So uh, mostly carnivores here is what we're looking at. Predator is the uh, animal organism that's attacking. Prey is what is being attacked here. So if we look at a graph here, this is an interesting thing of looking at a wolf and a, a bunny uh, and their population size over time. As you can see, uh, the wolf's population is very low when the population of the bunny is very high. And as you can see, the population of the bunny starts going down as the population of the wolf starts coming up. So this is a very clear predator-prey situation here, the, the predator being the wolf in this situation. So now let's look at the three different types of symbiosis. So a symbiosis is a relationship between two different kinds of living things, not the same living thing. So we're going to have mutualism, commensalism, and parasitism that we're going to explore here and see what the relationship is like and who benefits from this relationship. So first let's start with mutualism, which is where both organisms actually benefit from the relationship. So this is where you have bats or, or insects with uh, pollinating flowers. So both the, uh, the bat and the insects get food or nectar from the flower, but they also uh, cross-pollinate the different flowers, and that benefits the flowers. Uh, something else is a sea anemone and a clownfish, so much like in Finding Nemo. Uh, the sea anemone provides protection, and the uh, clownfish provides uh, cleaning. It cleans off a lot of the different algae and other things around the sea anemone. So that's a mutualistic relationship. Commensalism is where one organism benefits and the other one is unharmed. It neither gets a benefit nor does it actually have anything bad happen to it. So it's kind of like meh. Uh, so this is a good example here. You have a whale shark and you have these remoras, which are the little hanger-on fish that you sometimes see on these sharks. Uh, they just kind of clean the shark, so they get to eat a lot of the, the algae and things that are, are building up on the skin of the shark. Um, and it doesn't really hurt the shark. It doesn't really help the shark either. It just sort of doesn't really mind. Another example here is you have uh, these ospreys and, the, and these uh, water buffalo. Uh, it's a similar kind of relationship in, in this case. So um, the buffalo don't really mind, but the birds actually get a little bit of a benefit. So parasitism is when one organism benefits and the other one is actually harmed. Uh, this is a little bit easier to understand. This is mistletoe in a tree, and uh, the mistletoe will actually end up harming the tree that it grows in. Uh, mosquitoes on uh, humans, or actually any other organism for that matter, because mosquitoes can harm us by carrying dangerous viruses. Um, and another thing is that's an intestinal worm. So if you get like a tapeworm or something like that, or an organism gets one, uh, it will cause harm to the host while itself benefiting from the uh, food that it gets.